Hi, it's Katrina. From oddly shaped clouds to near constant lightning that only happens on one place on Earth, here are eight strange weather phenomena. Number 8. Atmospheric Rivers Atmospheric rivers are defined by hydroclimatologist Francisca Dominguez of the University of Illinois as long and narrow corridors of intense water vapor transport. The term atmospheric river was introduced during the early 1990s by meteorologists Reginald Newell and Yang Zhu, who published a study in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. They described their discovery of tropospheric rivers, or regions in the troposphere where water vapor accumulates and persists for days at a time. The amount of vapor that flows through an atmospheric river is comparable to the volume of water in the world's largest land rivers. An atmospheric river can be over a thousand miles long and hundreds of miles wide. According to Dominguez, they typically form over oceans as cold fronts travel from west to east. An atmospheric river's moist air is transported by jets of wind moving away from the equator. She also points out that atmospheric rivers are very dynamic in space and time, and are essentially moving and changing constantly. When an atmospheric river reaches land, the result is usually rain or snow, ranging from light precipitation to heavy storms. There are some typical places of origin and routes for atmospheric rivers, including a path between Hawaii and the west coast of the U.S., nicknamed the Pineapple Express. Atmospheric rivers are responsible for most of the precipitation in the United States, but are also a global phenomenon occurring in areas such as Chile, Western Europe, South Africa, and Australia. They also therefore play an important role in water vapor distribution throughout the planet. Who knew? Number 7. Moonbows A moonbow? What is a moonbow? A moonbow is similar to a rainbow, but there are a few major differences, as you might have guessed. Rainbows are caused by the sun shining on droplets of moisture, and may typically occur after it rains. Moonbows, also known as lunar rainbows, happen in the dark and are much rarer than normal rainbows. They are caused by moonlight hitting moisture droplets and happen when the moon is full or nearly full. They need very specific conditions. For a moonbow to form, the moon must be no more than 42 degrees above the horizon. It also must be very dark, as artificial light can obscure the visibility of a moonbow and the moisture in the air must be in the opposite direction of the moon. Moonbows typically look white to the human eye because their colors are usually not bright enough for the color receptors in our eyes to pick up on them. Long exposure photography is one way that a person can catch a glimpse at the colors of a moonbow. There are some parts of the world where moonbows are more common. These are usually places with waterfalls which create layers of mist. Some popular places for seeing moonbows are Cumberland Falls State Resort Park in Kentucky, Yosemite National Park in California, Waimea, Hawaii, and Victoria Falls, along the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe. Number 6. Non-Aqueous Rain Sometimes strange things, such as animals, fall from the sky. This is called non-aqueous rain, which doesn't really portray the shock and surprise of creatures raining down on you. Throughout history, instances of non-aqueous rain of all kinds, animals and just strange stuff, have been reported in many parts of the world. There is no scientific explanation, at least of yet, for why this happens. While some people believe one exists but hasn't been figured out yet, others think the phenomenon is an act of God. One recorded case of non-aqueous rain occurred in Bath, England in 1894, when thousands of tiny jellyfish fell from the sky. In 2007, multicolored snow fell over three Siberian provinces, covering a total of more than 40 square miles. According to witnesses, it had an oily texture, smelled foul, and was various shades of orange, green, and yellow. Emergency Situations Ministry spokesman Viktor Beltsov reassured the concerned public that the snow was non-toxic and may have resulted from dust and soils blown into the atmosphere from the neighboring country of Kazakhstan. He also refuted the claims that the snow was foul-smelling and oily. An Australian news channel reported in 2010 that the town of Lajamanu had experienced a rainfall of fish. They were still alive when they landed and were so numerous, people took them home to eat. In Colombia in 2008, a blood-like substance fell from the sky. Upon further analysis by a local bacteriologist, it was determined that the substance actually was blood. How it got there is very hard to say. There are many more stories like this, but just not enough time in this video. Number 5. Fire Whirls Fire whirls are also commonly referred to as fire devils or fire tornadoes. 
They form when intense rising heat and strong whirlwinds combine, and are usually not scientifically classified as tornadoes, despite sometimes being nicknamed as such. Instead, they form a tornado-like vortex, with a burning core and a rotating pocket of air. Fire whirls are extremely hot, reaching up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They frequently occur when a wildfire or firestorm generates its own wind, and the largest ones are spawned from wildfires. Fire whirls caused by wildfires are usually between 33 and 164 feet tall, and are several feet wide. They typically only last a few minutes. In extreme cases, however, they can last for more than 20 minutes and reach a height of over 0.6 miles tall, with wind speeds in excess of 120 miles per hour. A strong enough fire whirl can uproot trees upward of 49 feet tall. They can also aid in the spread of wildfires and start new ones. Massive fire whirls are sometimes generated by forces of nature other than wildfires. They can also occur after earthquakes, within volcanic plumes, and in certain other conditions. Number 4. Catatumbo Lightning This atmospheric phenomenon is named after the only place on the planet where it occurs. Catatumbo Lightning, or Relámpago del Catatumbo, happens in the far northwest of Venezuela, where the mouth of the Catatumbo River empties into Lake Maracaibo. This location is nicknamed the most electric place on Earth, and for good reason. On average, the lightning occurs 260 days a year annually and lasts for up to 10 hours each time it happens, striking as many as 280 times per hour. Winds that blow in from the Caribbean Sea and make their way across Maracaibo Lake and the surrounding plain inevitably collide with air from the mountain ridges of three nearby ranges the Andes, the Cordillera de Mérida, and the Perijá Mountains, which surround the plain on three sides. Electrical charges are created from the heat and air that collect across the plain, and the mountain ranges destabilize these air masses. The result? Thunderstorms that are characterized by continuous lightning, which occurs mostly within the clouds. The frequency of the lightning changes throughout the year and varies from year to year. For example, a drought caused the lightning to stop between January and March of 2010, and people even worried that it had stopped permanently. Scientists have since learned, however, that the lightning's activity can be predicted up to a few months in advance. A great quantity of ozone is created by the lightning, and it's believed among researchers that this may be helpful toward regenerating the ozone layer. Number 3. Morning Glory Clouds Morning Glory Clouds, or solitary wave clouds, are an extremely rare type of wave cloud that take the form of a series of narrow tubes, each of which can be up to 600 miles long. Each soliton, or tube, moves without changing shape or speed. The most impressive morning glory clouds in the world can be found in the Gulf of Carpentaria in Queensland, Australia, which is also the only region where the clouds occur in a predictable fashion. They're believed to be caused by a humid easterly front from the Coral Sea colliding with a warm westerly front from the Gulf of Carpentaria. The spectacle is caused by a layer of cool air sliding underneath a layer of warm air during the night. According to Bureau of Meteorology forecaster Andrew Bufalino, the clouds can appear as one solitary cloud or up to 10 consecutive solitons. They are mostly seen between late August and October in the remote outpost of Burketown. These clouds, particularly in Australia, are popular for surfing by pilots. Fewer people have surfed morning glory clouds than have climbed Mount Everest. Companies such as Savannah Aviation offer this opportunity to tourists who are lucky enough to be around when the conditions are right for the clouds to form. Although morning glory clouds are seldom seen elsewhere, they have been reported in other parts of the world, including the English Channel, Canada, the United States, Germany, Brazil, and Eastern Russia. Number 2. Lofoten Temperature Anomalies Despite being located above the Arctic Circle, the temperatures in the Lofoten Islands of Norway rarely tip below freezing. This warmer-than-usual weather is thanks to the convergence of two underwater currents, known as the North Atlantic Current and the Norwegian Current, with the Gulf Stream. Average temperatures remain above freezing year-round in two of Lofoten cities, Rost and Veyroy. The mountains near Lofoten receive snow often, and the weather can indeed be unpredictable. However, relative to latitude, it's one of the world's largest elevated temperature anomalies. Ancient humans must have noticed the unusually hospitable climate here, as evidence of human inhabitants in Lofoten dates back some 11,000 years. Because of its climate, the archipelago has been home to huge cod fisheries for over a millennia. It hosts a diverse array of wildlife, especially birds. Lofoten is also known for its natural beauty and tranquility. Number 1. 
Nighttime Heat Bursts Heat bursts are sudden spikes in temperature caused by dissipating thunderstorms and can occur well into the night. The rain from a dissipating thunderstorm can evaporate at once if a dry layer of air develops within the storm. A bubble of cool, dense air is created by the evaporating rain and rushes toward the ground. As it falls, this bubble of air compresses and heats up. The result is a rapid spike in temperature, along with a plummeting dew point. This phenomenon is also characterized by high winds. This phenomenon occurred in Alva, Oklahoma on June 15, 2016. At 7 p.m., the temperature was 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the area was experiencing thunderstorms. The temperature rose to 96 degrees by 8 o'clock. 20 minutes later, it peaked at 99 degrees. Along with the rise in temperature came a sudden drop in humidity and winds reaching 64 miles per hour. It didn't last long, however. By 9.30, temperatures had returned to normal. Heat bursts are somewhat common, especially in the Plains states, and occur most frequently in late spring and summer. Some heat bursts are so mild they can only be detected by weather instruments, while others are quite obvious without even having to look at the temperature. It's rare but possible for heat bursts to be destructive, particularly because of their strong winds. On May 22, 1996, a heat burst in Lawton, Oklahoma caused an estimated $15 million in damage, courtesy of 105 mile per hour wind gusts. In Fort Worth, Texas on May 3, 2006, roofs were damaged and airplanes were flipped over due to a heat burst near Meacham Airport. Thanks for watching! Have you ever experienced any of this strange weather? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and come on over and say hi on Instagram! See you next time! Bye!